What up, what up, what up, world? Welcome to the Butcher Block, my blog, where we talk about the latest in hip hop and sports. I brought a few of my comrades along. We'll get to them in a minute. But first, remember, follow me on Twitter at the Butcher Block and like my page on Facebook, the Butcher Block. Let's go. Get up to the dog pound. What up, what up, what up? I mean, it, this this was a year of the other collab. Everybody wanted to make a collab album. Yeah. Jay Z and Kanye actually did it. Yeah. But I mean, you had talks of, I mean, you, you know, Jeezy. Royce and, and, and Royce did it. You had talks of Jeezy, Jeezy, Jeezy and Ti putting out an album. Sticky face, you know, lazy bone. Up, up on the high end, you had you had you had talks of. of you had talks of, of Gucci Man and, and V Nasty making the album on the low end. Uh, yeah. man, I said it's on the low Gucci end. They uh, brought out a Ferrari boys. Gucci and Flocka brought out. Did that come out? Yeah, come out. They, yeah. Out. they brought out the Ferrari boys. Uh, you had um Brick Squad. Um you had you had crews coming together. You had the Wu Block album. That, that? that was in talks. Wu Tang and D Block. <laughs> Thirty seven <laughs> men. Or oh, one album, Damn. you know what I'm saying? Thirty-seven, a real album. Thirty-seven <laughs> niggas on one album. It's a real. So I'm saying, okay, we we, we got we got the Jay Z and Kanye. We wanted to see that, you know what I'm saying? We may, you know, we we might want to see a Drake and and Rick Ross come together. What? You know what I'm saying? I don't who, know where that. Who, I mean, I'm just saying, who 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 don't we want to see? I personally didn't want to see Birdman. <laughs> And Mac Main come together That's and make a mixtape. Billionaire man. I don't want to see that. So I mean, I mean, Mark, tell me who 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 you don't want to see come together and make a collab album. I don't want to see T Pain and Lil Wayne make an album. Yeah. And I don't want to see Mary J. Blige and Foxy Brown make an album. It was talks. It was talks. And you're right. It was talks. It was talks. I don't want to see. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see my. I don't want to see my life three and a half. You know, I don't, don't want to see that. Featuring Drake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see that. With Keisha Cole as a narrator. I don't, I don't want to see that. Uh, that that's not You're right. Bad. I don't want to see that. That's the best of both world females. Yeah. I don't want to see that. Don't want to see that. Uh, man. That's what I, I the best of both body women. Who, I mean, who want to see that? That's the both bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who's helping who in that situation? I'm going to say Nobody. Uh, Yo, man. Who you say? I don't want to see T Baby and Pat Poos. <laughs> 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 T-Baby and Pat Poos. I mean, I mean, hey, fans, do you know who T-Baby is? It's Just go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. It's cold in the D. And type in, it's so cold in the D. Yeah. You'll find out who T-Baby is. Shout out to the D. Pat Poos made the law library. <laughs> <laughs> Papoose made the Law Library 1 through 39. Yeah. He got a $1 million deal. Mm -hmm. And I can't walk up to 10 people in the streets <laughs> and ask them who Papoose is. Papoose and they would know. He's the king of New York, though. He, he, he said he's the king of New York. Okay. That's so we, we, do, we don't, we don't want to see that. Is that a consensus? That's, Probably not. Is that a consensus? Probably not. I don't want to see that at all. Okay. I mean, I mean, I agree with all of that. It's, not, it's nothing more I can say. You know what I'm saying? I'm speak on some. I might, I might want to see a couple collabs. The, okay, the let's talk about those. I could definitely, you know, rock with that if they have decided. Wale and Cole, I think they kind of deal with, you know what I'm saying? Cole you know, and Kendrick for the drop. Oh uh, yeah, but I say Cole and, and and Wale, they deal with emotion more, a little more manly than I think Drake do, and I think they both nice. And this last one, I don't, I know it never happened. But these two dudes put out some of the best music together that I heard. And that's Jim Jones and Max B. Max B is locked up right now. Hey, okay, shout out to up. Max B. But I think yeah, Jones and Max B, both. when Max was on them hooks, they was they they was killing it. That, that, that was magic. Jim Jones and Max B on the whole album. Yeah, they pretty much on, on Jim Jones' album, Hustlers, Hustlers Palm. I was all yeah. over that. Yeah, that was a that was a I mean I independent. I mean that that's. You know, I don't really throw the word classic out there, but that's a classic album. I I'll listen to that 15 I, I was, years from now. Even, even the album before that, you know what I'm saying? That on my way to church? Nah. Nah. nah um, church, uh, 
Harlem, Diary of a yeah, Summer. Yeah, yeah. Him and Max, yeah. G, G's up. G's up. Yes, classic music. Yeah, Baby that. Girl, classic music. Um, I mean, other artists, if you just said who artists who put out great music together, I mean, you can't discredit, I mean, Jay-Z, Beanie Siegel, and Scarface put out hip-hop monsters mm -hmm. yeah. together. I think Hov and Beans together is all problem. I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think they challenge each other. Again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That, they, they challenge each other. Actually, yeah. Album. Nah. That's yeah. Dang. They, they ain't even got to get in the studio together. Man. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. Don't give a fuck if it gets leaked. But I'm just saying, they, yeah, they, challenge, they push each other. Mm -hmm. They definitely do. They definitely push each other. But, so. Um, two I got. They is in the talks, you know. I want to see T.I. B.O.B. They said Man versus Martian. That's, that's, in, that's in the God. works. And this next one was supposed to be come out 06, 05. It's Lil Wayne and Jewels, man. I want to see Jewels get back, man. I think they can't, I think can't feel my they, face. They, they lost. It's been a long time. But I still kind of want to hear they, it. But, but, but they, they, lost, they lost that whole vibe, the whole movement <laughs> that, that, that they had going. They lost that. They lost it. They had the whole run joint. But that's gone, though. That's gone. Yeah, they kind of missed it. man. You right. Missed, they kind of missed their boat, man. That's they what missed like it. Saying, you know, I want to see T Mac and Steve Francis have a dunk contest. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they missed it. They yeah. They kind of missed it, man. You're right. They missed it. We had Watch the Throne. Of course, Jay Z and Kanye came came together and collabed on the album. Finally, um, we had your, we had your usuals. Kanye West dropped the album, you know, real nice album. We had um, newcomers like J Cole. We had um, Wale, who recently signed with with Maybach Music Group. We had um, Lupe, you know, Pusha T dropped the dropped the, not an album but an EP. Pusha T dropped the EP. Um, we had Drake. Drake just recently dropped. We had Lil Wayne, um, but but I want to come up with with a top five albums of the year. You know, I think we can eliminate people like Lil Wayne. Personally, I was I was disappointed <laughs> by the album. Personally, me, I was disappointed. So a lot of metaphors and no substance. Yeah, I thought I thought his album was all over the place. Just a whole lot of rapping like. Songs like Mega Man, you couldn't tell me what the meaning of the song was. It was more just mixtape type rap all over the place. So we could go and trash the car before I ain't listened to that after the first week it came out. No me, problem. yeah, me personally, I, I didn't buy it. You know, I'm sorry, but I didn't buy it. I mean, me being, I'm, I'm a big Lil Wayne fan, but, but, you know, when, when I. That's Weezy, I mean, since the cash, early cash money days, but. I mean, when you put out bad product, you know, got to call it, it is what it is. And 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 he sold and he sold nine hundred thousand, you know. Yeah, so, so we we to that, but you know. And I, I mean, I think I think he got a younger audience, yeah. you know. To tell you the truth, I think that might have been all teenagers and and maybe females. But but right now, I think Lil Wayne is just a gimmick, you know. So I think we can just eliminate him from the top albums of the year. Yeah, when I, def I, I definitely thought it was all over the place. I thought he should have. Went out and got some big producers. Like, why wouldn't you holla at Kanye again? I mean, on the Carter, th Carter Three, you had a lot of big producers. This time, he ain't holla at really no big producers. I don't even think it's just that though. Like, he should have dug into himself a little more. Like, it's just like rapping. Like, it was like scrimmage. Like, you ain't really make a, a package when you put this album together. I ain't know it, it didn't feel like no Carter Four. It just felt like Lil Wayne rapping. That should have been the name of it. I was personally done when I heard How to Love. I, I, I took that as just a gimmick. He saw that, that the stuff he put out didn't sit well with the fans. So he said, I'm going to go with what I know. I'm going to make a singing song for females. You know, strippers turn to housewives. And I'm going to run with that. You know, I don't think that's what his core audience really wanted out of him. But he knew that was going to sell. So, okay, let, let, let's eliminate Lil Wayne. You know, from the album of the year. I agree with that. That's right. Yeah, we can agree with that. Okay, okay. So let, let's come up with. Let me. Let's come up with five. I mean, me. I put. You know, I was pleasantly surprised by Wale, album. Ambition. Yeah, Wale. Ambition was, was ambition was a tough album. I'm not a Wale fan, but I became a Wale fan with this album. So I mean, let's put Wale in there. Yeah, I like Wale. Wale. He put out good albums. Even his last one was nice. I mean, you know, whether you were him or not. 
So he put out good albums. I was a little worried with him going to MMG. I ain't know, you know, if he was gonna try to spit over like the heavy bass beats, like you know that Ross come on, like he did on their compilation. But his album, he kind of stuck to what he do. I think he put out a good album. Okay, Wale, um, J Cole, number one album, first week. Yeah, um, Cole, he definitely been grinding, especially for two years. He put out all classic. I'm saying it, it was a, it was a long wait. That's what I'm saying. It was a long wait, and it's rare that you wait for somebody that long and they deliver mm -hmm. at right. at the end of the day. You know, so J Cole delivers. So I mean, Wale, J Cole, um, I think Kanye's album, um, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, I think that's you know. We all can say that that was an album of the year, hip hop classic. That was some good shit. I thought it was cool. I didn't think it was, you know, I don't think it was. I think Kanye had better albums, me personally. I think he had he had a couple tracks I ain't really, you know, I ain't really, really messed with. Like, I think it might be the last track, kind of African beat yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Okay, I mean, but what, would you agree that, that this year, 2011, that's one of the top yeah, albums you heard? Yeah, I mean, by default, maybe. Yeah, uh, I want to see. Okay, so what, what about what about Kanye and Hov? Watch the throne. Of I think that was the album of the year. My, my my personal preference. I mean, they rapped about you know stuff that grown men they age should be rapping about. You know what I'm saying? Real life type stuff. And then they both nice. You know what Kanye do with the production? And I mean, it ain't no like you would say Lil Wayne. I mean, they had concepts to every song. You know, the song they talk about. Being the father of the, you know what I'm saying? When Ho was talking about the Black Panthers and all that stuff, it had substance. And I so it wasn't talking about, you know what I'm saying, pop that pussy for a real nigga. Yeah, that was. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. We, 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 we can say that. Shout out all the strippers, though. You know Let's do it. Okay. Shout out Sunset and. Uh, yeah. We love the strippers. <laughs> okay. Dollars, yep. <laughs> all right, so I mean, that that's 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 four. Um, and recently, Drake put out his second LP, Take Care. Yeah, I think Drake had a real good album. I think it probably was two songs away from a classic. If he took off the Rihanna track, that was kind of pop. And if he took out, it was one more track towards the end. If he took that off, I think it would have been a classic. But my album of the year, I think J. Cole had the album of the year. Okay, let's rewind. Let's back up. Let's, you know, let us get our chance at Drake, you know? <laughs> Drake, I think he, he talented. I think he one of the most talented dudes to come along, but. He talented as hell. It's like sometimes you listen to a kid song when you know that song wasn't really made for you or your audience. I think Drake music is more geared towards women. But can we agree that, okay, Drake, you know, through all of his wrongs, he put out maybe one of the albums of the year, of 2011. I gotta check. Yeah. I gotta go yeah. through my iPod and make sure <laughs> good that. album. Okay, so, so, so what do we say? We got, we got Wale, Ambition. We got J. Cole, The Sideline Story. Kanye. Jay Z and Kanye collab album Watch Your Throne and Drake. So, what do you think is the hottest out of those five? I mean, I, I say Watch the Throne. Yeah, you know I'm what I'm saying? Because you know we we expected so much from Watch the Throne, and we got so much from Watch the yeah, Throne. You put them two dudes together, like it ain't gonna be a flop. You know what I mean? So to put that against somebody like J Cole, who been on his grind. He ain't had that many features on his album, like he did his thing, classic did mixtapes, things. and he delivered. But I'm just he saying, I'm just saying. Number one I'm just saying, if you, if you, if you, if you go back, if you, Kevin Durant, the coldest in the league. If, if, you, go, if you go back to, to Jay Z, did this before. He had us waiting for best of both worlds. Mm. Do you still play best of both worlds? No. I mean, Best Both Worlds was hot though. I mean, but it, it wasn't what we expected it was, though. It, it, it you know what I'm saying? Timeless music. Yeah, it wasn't what we expected though. Ten years from now, I'm not listening to Best right. of Both Worlds, I, I but I, but I am listening to Watch the Throne I though. I think Cole got one of the best albums, but I don't think I don't think you can say it's better than Watch the Throne. He got he got. I, I don't think you can exclude them just because they two, you know, rappers on the top of the game who collab. I mean, it is what it is. You can't. If you're in the NBA, you can't say, you know, I'm going against Kobe tonight, so, hey, you know, that's the reason I only had eight points. You got to, you know, that's you the right. competition. You're right. I mean, he, so he, he, he had, he had, the competition. he had one of the, you know, I'll say one of the top debuts of all time. Mm -hmm. You know, his first album, he, he produced probably 85, 90% of the album, and he delivered. He had one of the top debuts of all time, but, I mean, I think it's a consensus vote that Watch the Throne album of the year. Yeah, I, I watch the, the throne. Thing is like they basically all in the same camp. <laughs> Rock Nation. That's the whole 